we all put things off to another day but hey no time like the present we had some sunshine so what you got baby oh okay so, <laughs> he's gonna tell y'all bye and thank y'all later and <laughs> thanks for being here On a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? <laughs> Because it can be a lot, even with just having two. And especially if you're a person that's on the go, who's going to take care of your animals when you're gone? That's something that we have to think about when we go or we have to put systems. So we do put systems in place when it comes to um, leaving and just taking maybe a two-day vacation, whether we're going to see our son at school or whatever it is we're doing. So we don't have someone that will come and take care of the chickens for us we just have to put systems in place that will last them for that overnight stay that we're doing or the two night stay that we're doing so now 
I'm sidetracked. I'm, I, I can't keep my mind focused today because it's just so much to do. I have to clean out the chicken coop. I have to clean out the chicken run. I have to clean out the rabbit cages and their um, trays that I have underneath them. I have to get those things situated, but I can't do those until I go to Track Supply and get all the items that I need. So I'm passing the pool store, and y'all saw my pool, and it's time for me to start working on it. So I started working on it the other day, but the thing is, I think I need another pump, and so I'm going to go in here and try to price a pump. I don't know what size pump I need, and I don't really want to get a pump because that's money I don't want to spend, but in order to run the pool, you got to have a pump. So I'm going to go in, take a look around, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made it out of the pool store. And y'all, see, I was going to get rid of the pool. I had someone coming out. I was going to pay them $500, get that thing out of here, you know, because the kids weren't really using it. Well, now the kids are saying, I don't want it to go. I I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. So... In that, I told them, if you don't use it as much as I think you should with the money I'm putting into it, then the pool is going to go. And I think in life, that is what is wrong with us as human beings. We tend to want to hold on to stuff saying that I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And we never get around to doing it and so in that we have to know it is okay to let things go to move to the next level so this is the pump that i'm going to get i'll show you right here this is the pump um because the pool is six thousand gallons i don't know why i thought it was 10 but it's six thousand gallons so it's a little bit cheaper than the one I thought I was going to have to get, even though that's nothing to sneeze at in this economy that we're in. But we need to also have a place that we can draw peace from. And I found peace in using the pool. I just didn't like to use the pool by myself. Um, so I'm hoping that we can do this as a family and use the pool and create more memories together so let me head to the tractor supply y'all because i'm gonna talk your head off today but here we go let's go into the tractor supply so you can tell spring is in the air Like somebody got some ducks or chickens. So they have prairie bluebell eggers. Uh, technically, yeah. Uh, well, that's the that's the grit, right? Chick grit. Yeah. So they got just some like Cornish cross. Uh, they didn't have anything right last week. So these are the pellets that I was talking about and also the pine shavings that I need. Now, I didn't quite get around to doing my coop today because y'all will see in a minute. Well, I just had a lot to do. Um, I'm going to have to do it another day. But these cedar right here cost more than I want to spend. The cedar, of course, is $11.99, but the pine shavings are like $6.99. Now, granted, they used to be $4.99. But they've gone up but these are the pellets that you use for your rabbits goats so when you go into the store if it's like soil or even this stuff here that i'm getting the pellets that's open when it's open they will discount it so he's going to get some stickers to put on here and then i got two of these because i already have two at the house but i may just get another one um because i'm not sure how much i'm gonna need for the coop and the run so these here are $6.99, so I got three of those. And then the pellets here are $7.29, but because they are open bags, this one has more in it than the other one, so he gave me 25% off of that one and 50% off of that one. So you gotta get them deals where you can get them. 
So God is good because when she was ringing me up, she said, I'm going to go ahead and give you half off on both of them, not just 25% off of one. So, oh, thank you, Jesus. So I am back home now. My husband has pretty much cut the entire front and back and he started weed eating. And that's the thing with divide and conquer. In marriage, we want to do everything together. And I'm that way. I'm guilty of that. I love working with my spouse. Um, it keeps me focused for one because he's going to be on my back. We got to get this done because I will do a little bit and just be like, I'll wait till later. But he pushes me and sometimes that is what you need. But you also need to be able to have separation when it comes to the goals that you want to attain. If you set aside, well, this is what I need to do. This is the time frame I need to get it done then you need to be able to divide and conquer to get that done. Yes, it's great to have extra set of hands in doing things, but when the time comes to separate, just know you'll come back together with so much more done than you had originally even put on your checklist. So right here, you're seeing me take apart the little breeding area that I had for the Flemish Giants. And he was like, you need to move that because I got to get this cut. So that is what I'm doing now. And then instead of starting with the coop and with the run and cleaning out the rabbit cages and their little bins, trays for the poop, I just said, we're gonna do that on another day because I need to get some things planted uh, around the house and I needed to clean up a little bit in that shed so I could make space for more things that I have going on to take place. And I even started cleaning the pool. I won't, maybe I won't show you that part right now, but I did do a little bit with the pool as well. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. sure what these are right now but y'all the roots on them are just so easy to move so I'm going to transplant these from here where you can't really see them did not dig or anything here. I thought I was going to need this and I don't.
But I don't mind the glow I have walked this street a thousand times or more And I hope that I still do when I'm old Can your scissors push it up it over there? Here. Yes, and then. I'm standing yep, that's better. Yes, yeah, in there. The shingles are inside of the gutter. I have seen this room. So we are going to end the video. Um, I was waiting for my husband to come back out of the store so we could end it together. We had to run off and grab some things. We just decided it's time to stop working. Remember I said you have to remember when to stop when to rest your body so you can save some for the next day and so <clears throat> the pollen is getting to me but we are about to grill out burgers hot dogs nothing fancy um make some coleslaw chili and call it for the day you guys so thank y'all for watching if you made it this far let me know by putting a number one because that's what you are to me put a number one in the comments so i hope that this video inspired you to get out and just get something done it doesn't have to be a lot it could just be stuff that you've been putting off we all put things off to another day but hey no time like the present we had some sunshine so what you got baby oh okay <laughs> He's going to tell y'all bye. And thank y'all. And thanks for being here on the channel. And guys, he will be doing like, I'm going to say a series because we have to make cabinets for the kitchen and stuff. So he said that um, he's going to allow me to record him and um, hopefully walk y'all through the process of not how to because we're not doing a how to. We're doing an I can and you can too. So see you guys in the next video. We'll holla. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me. Just song.